can't find it. Where's the clicker? I've lost the clicker. I've lost the clicker, kid. I do like this. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time, that time again, where Christina talks to Timmy Baby. I'm gonna do my big interview today. A big interview today, yeah? And today, I wanna talk about myself. Because Tim always gets asked, oh, where's Christine? Oh, where's Christine? And where and is Christine? People don't understand that they don't want to go out a lot. So let's start at the beginning. I was never a person who went out a lot. I did everything around, even five years old. I played for hours alone in my room. And my mom's sister said, oh, you're lucky, Christine is so, so happy. On the ground, I always have to entertain my children. But, yeah, and it's still like that. So I'm not miserable or anything. And when Tim goes out, sometimes I go with him, sometimes I don't. And which do you prefer? The ones, the times you don't go with me or the times you do go with me? The times I don't, sometimes. Uh-huh. Because the thing is, with my condition, uh -huh. if, I, if I am somewhere, if I sit too long in my wheelchair, it gets uncomfortable after a while. And if it gets too late, I get tired. And, and you don't like saying, I'm tired now, let's go home, right? No, so I stick, don't like to say that. You stick with me, and then, you, and then when you get home, you wish you'd said earlier, right? Oh. I think that everybody would understand if you just said, Tim, I'm tired, take me home. Yeah, but you would be... What's in tourist again? Disappointed. Disappointed. I wouldn't be disappointed. Because you're just in your element at the moment. <laughs> To be, do, do the impression of me again. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, the soul of the party. Everybody loves Timmy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Until they get to know me. <laughs> then again, we've got to move town again, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want you to feel sorry for me when I don't go out. Sometimes I'm in the mood to go out and that's fine. But... I'm in the mood for dancing. Were you ever a dancer? No. Discotheques and stuff? No. No? So what was your... Let's say, let's say you're in your early 20s. What was your favourite, let's say, Friday night? Go to the Roxy in Straubing. That was a disco that played like Jimmy Hendrix. And so it wasn't disco in that scene? Not disco. Only. But it was a nightclub? Nightclub, yeah. That played Jimmy Hendrix. So it was more sort of like moody bikers in there or whatever? Yeah, yeah, lots of them. Yeah. And were, and were you part of the gang or what? Oh. So what, will you just go with the crowd or be on your own? I was with one friend of mine. Uh-huh. She was one of the, my best friends. Really liked her. And one day she met this guy and she became a Jehovah's Witness. She didn't want to know after that. Okay. And uh, so let's say you're now in your late 20s. Oh, I know because I met you in your late 20s. 
<laughs> Your favourite Friday night was nipping down to the Irish Harp. Yeah, I'm just happy I met you because I would never have found a lonely guy. Because uh -huh. I was a weirdo. You mean was? You were a weirdo too. <laughs> so what do you mean was a weirdo? <laughs> together quite well. We do. Like chicken and syrup. Mm -hmm. Probably not, no. <laughs> and uh, so when we first when we first met, what did you think of uh, what do you think of me? Well he's quite a funny lad. A funny lad? Yeah. Not good looking, dead sexy. No, no. <laughs> Not at all. No. <laughs> well, you thought you're better off having a funny guy. Yeah. Okay. Because life is serious enough. Life's serious enough, do you think? So what else about when you when you started getting ill? I mean, you didn't go straight from like dancing into a wheelchair. It was sort of gradual, wasn't it? Yeah. What was the first bits that you remember of your, of your illness? This is the eye, was it? Yeah. Uh-huh. But I did everything like before. You even rode a bike, didn't you, after falling off a few times? Yeah. And the eye got fixed for a while. Mm-hmm. Oh, with the cortisone, yeah? Yeah, so I even drove a, a car. How many crashes did you have? Like every car that we ever bought, didn't you write off? No. <laughs> it's one. Oh, the red one we sold, didn't we? When I got the lease wagon. No, the red one we crashed. Oh, okay. What about the blue one then? I love that. Well, we crashed that one before I went to America. The first blue one. I uh... So just the two, then you crashed. Oh, no, the one in America you had, didn't you crash that as well? Oh, the both <laughs> the oil. The oil. All oh, right. I just, lost some. The, okay, you lost it. Water. Yeah, I think it was after, after they uh, did a service, didn't it? And they didn't yeah. put the cap back on, and your oil sump drained, and your car went on fire. But that was funny. I mean, I was always such a dreamer. And I rode along on the street in America and all of a sudden smoke came out. <laughs> okay, it just goes. You go. <coughs> she's, she's going. <coughs> I thought something must be wrong here, but... But what? They, they took me home, so... Mm -hmm. So, if people see you out and about with me, do you want them to come up and say hello? Yeah. What about big hugs and kisses? No. And that's only because of your condition with your compromised um, system, right? What do they call it? Obvious system in English. I can't uh, even remember what obvious system is. Immune system. immune system, that's it, yeah. So, so you can come up and say hello. Liked, uh, but not, not, not too much hugging and kissing, right? Right. Just like the corona thing. Mm -hmm. You just went like that. You like the, the punching of the hands, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's because that's hip as well, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. So you got anything else to say to these people? Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, by the by the magic of TV we can cut to when she starts talking again. Okay. The sun might have gone down, but we'll cut there. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. I wanted to say that whenever I get ready to go out, it takes a long time. Oh, yeah. I just can't take my sweatshirt 
put my sweatshirt on and leave. Like I do. I don't yeah. put a sweatshirt on, it's just me tip for. Yeah, great. <laughs> and I want to save Tim the hustle to put me in the car whenever it's possible. That's also true, thank you for that. Because he's not getting younger either. No, not getting any younger. Now, what was I going to say as well, Mrs Dowd? What is it when I go out on my own? Do you feel jealous or...? Not at all. Do you think I'm running around with other women? No. You mean I'm not good looking enough even now to be running around with other women? I've got enough woman with this one. Aim. <laughs> I mean, I trust you. You would never be as stupid as betray me. I couldn't because I, I can't lie to you. Aim. Hey, yeah, so you'd find out anyway from me. In fact, if I did pull another woman, then I'd be so proud of it, I tell you. <laughs> hey, you never guess what happened, Chris. Oops. We got this one on as well. We got two cameras on today, you probably noticed. It's my iPad on the slider and the big camera, the Lumix. Let us know in the comments which is the best picture, because I'm still learning this one, so it might not even be in focus. <laughs> but at least we've got that one as a backup. Good dude. So. Oh, the, the look at you girls. Yeah. Look quite good. Oh, thank you very much, because I've cut my hair today. Oh. I thought I might be on camera, so I'll cut my hair. Because otherwise it's wispy, isn't it? Yeah, and the other guys we meet are your age as well, though. Mm -hmm. most, of you, uh, most of them don't have hair. Ah, most of the people we meet don't have hair. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell the crack master and the Mac master all about it. And, <laughs> and Carl is probably, he's still in his early 30s, I think. I know, I think he's 40. Look, I don't know how old he is. Anyway, and the Johnny Vlogger, of course. There's everybody. There's a lot. In fact, you can throw a stone on the island this week and you'll hit a vlogger. Yeah. But they're already young, aren't they? Uh huh. I'm the granddaddy of the, of the bunch. So, Mrs. Dowd, we've been on now. It doesn't tell me. But that's okay. So, uh, today's Sunday, right? Yep. Tomorrow's Meetup Monday. Yep. And we've got, I think there's three people registered to come. I've got to check to see if any more registered today. And uh, then Balcony Banter's on the balcony again this week. Is you only coming or is it from the hotel? Uh, because it's the first, it will be on Juliani's channel, but I don't know where she's going to do it from. Okay. But we'll see. So this will go out as its own little video when it's cut. It'll probably go out tomorrow afternoon before Meetup Monday. So if you want to give anybody a message who's coming to Meetup Monday, yeah, all of you will come to me on Monday. See you then. This is Tim. And you see me. For living in MS in Tenerife, Saint Tra. Out.